Now this is authentic, right? This is to authentic. Make it. The, uh, my country of origin, we have all the right ingredients, so this is 100% authentic. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So right. I'm learning from a, a pro here. Absolutely. That's yes, right. <laughs> My mum, when she watches this, will be very proud. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, we need kidney beans. Uh, this is the closest we could find. I'm not sure mm -hmm. if these are exactly kidney beans, but mm -hmm. they're in the region of. Mm -hmm. Now, to look really impressive for your Jamaican friends, please use fresh. Don't use the tinned one because then it doesn't come out the right colour. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. So fresh kidney beans. Okay. You put those into a pot with two cups of water. All right. And you let, you can soak them overnight because they do take a while to cook. Mm -hmm. And it's important that you don't use them before they're cooked properly. So you um, boil them. Because you would mention to me, they're actually, they're bad, they're bad for you. They, they can make you ill if you eat Poisonous. them when, okay. it, like a lot of food, if you, they're not cooked properly, you're not gonna mm. feel very good yeah. after <laughs> but in particular these. <laughs> yeah. More than other types of beans, these? Yes, these okay. ones in particular. So you mm. cook them. Okay. Now, how you know they're cooked is when you, clear a space here so the camera can see. When you crush them, mm -hmm. like so, mm -hmm. it's almost like mashed potato inside. I see that, it mushes. Now, if you crush it, and it's still got little hard bits in it, mm -hmm. it's not done properly. So it should be almost like they're mashed potato inside, soft and smooth inside. So this is real crushed. Yes. I mean, this is real soft. This really smooth, really soft and smooth. Okay. So once it's like that, so in when you're cooking them, all you do is take one out, Smash test it. it Mm -hmm. If it's really soft and smooth with no hard bits inside, you're good to go. All right, I learned something new already. That's so you, good. you do that. So once they're, they're ready, then you add, um, you add the um, garlic um, as well. So okay. you're going to do a crushed garlic. Now, once they're done cooking, then we add the other stuff. Yeah, then we add the other ingredients. Um, you add the garlic, the coconut milk, the thyme, the onion. Nice. Um, you can add a little bit of salt as well. Nice. You put all of that in because that's going to give it the flavour. Okay. Um, let that cook for a little bit and then you add the rice. So then once the peas are cooked, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you've put in all the other ingredients, mm -hmm. then the, all you're doing now is cooking the rice. And once the rice is done, that's it. Your rice and peas are finished. Nice. It's really great. Now, so uh, I'm just trying to understand here. You would either soak them overnight or you'd cook them quite a while, right? Yeah, it's the, best if you soak them overnight okay. because then they're easier to cook. Or if you have a pressure cooker. Yes. Is that what you call them? Yeah, that's yeah. what we call them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you have a pressure cooker, yeah. you can cook them in a pressure okay. cooker. I think it um, okay. speeds, cuts the cooking time in half. Right. So, so long as when you take them out, they're, they're good and ready. If you haven't soaked them overnight, you can cook them. It does take forever. Right. We're um, talking hours. Yeah, it will take a good couple of hours okay. um, otherwise. Um, so it's not the best way to do it. But soak them overnight and they'll, they'll be done they'll quite be quickly. Okay. Yeah, and they're great. So then we add the garlic once they're done yes. and they, they go against the edge of the pan and they smash. Yes. Then yes. we would add the garlic, the onions, the thyme and the coconut, coconut milk. milk. Now with the coconut milk, the traditional recipe mm -hmm. is fresh coconut milk. So if you want to be really mm. authentic, you can buy a dried coconut, um, smash it open. The um, coconut, <laughs> fresh coconut, is, well, you have to smash it open. Yeah. Uh, the coconut inside, you grate it. You can put it into a food processor. Nice. And then you, um, once it's come out all in the, and it's um, grated, you add warm water to it and squeeze it through a sieve and then the milk will come out and that will make it taste even more fabulous. Ooh. Ooh. Oh yeah, I like <laughs> coconut, so this is sounding good to me already. Now, I'm thinking though, if we add the rice though, it's going to be pretty dry and thick already, is it not? Dry and thick? I mean, do you need to add more water at this point? Well, what like you when you add the rice, that's what I was wondering. Oh right, once you add the, the, the rice, you top up the water so it's about an inch. That's what I wanted yeah. to know. Yeah, okay. so you make sure it's okay. enough water to cook okay. the rice. Because the so rice is dried, yes. so we gotta, it's got to swell. And, but you yeah. usually you use a lot of water to cook the kidney beans because if um, while you're cooking it, the water dries down, right. you just top it up. You keep it adding well. water. Yeah, just You keep want the beans it. always covered in water? Yes, it should all be okay. covered. And then you just keep an eye on it so they don't, okay. they don't dry out and burn. Okay. So with the rice, um, the best variety to use is long grain rice if you've mm. got it. Um, some people use, you know, different types of rice. Just a regular plain long grain rice is fine. Okay. Some people can use basmati rice. I like so basmati. Mm -hmm. That's nice. That's probably not the best one to use. Just okay. um, um, a plain white rice okay. like that is fine. Okay. Um, and it comes out fabulous. Oof, <laughs> nice. I got some here. That's yes. all done. I got to try. Have you ever had it before? I have. Oh, you have? Okay. And it's really, I like okay. it. It's really good. Yeah, I have. I think a couple times, yeah. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. 
-hmm. Now, if you eat enough of this, you may, I'm not promising mm -hmm. this, you mm -hmm. may be able to run as fast as Usain Bolt. <laughs> 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 oh, that is good. Mm. I love the coconut milk in it. It's oh, nice. yeah. That really makes it. I mean, the other flavors are good. I, I like the, you call them peas? The kidney well, beans? No. Um, in in Jamaica, mm -hmm. kidney beans are called peas. So different okay. countries call things different okay. names. They, okay. We call it, they're called peas. In England, they're called kidney beans. Here, they're called kidney beans. Kidney beans, yeah. Mm -hmm. the same yeah, thing. we say kidney the beans. kidney shape. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Or some people say red beans, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, this is good, but the coconut milk makes it. Now Ooh, this you could good. serve with the butter bean falafel. With some gravy. Yeah. See, we have a whole recipe going on here. I, I whole... see that. <laughs> <laughs> we have a whole um, dinner party going on here. Oh, yeah, that's wonderful. Mm, that is tasty. And it's healthy because kidney beans are um, rich in protein, I believe, as well. Mm -hmm. So it's good for you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's mm. right. Mm. And that's it. It's quite simple to make. It is. So providing you've soaked them overnight, you're good to right. go. Right. Now, how long would it take to cook the beans if you had soaked them overnight? Um, about 40 minutes. Oh, that's way faster than two yes, hours. Yes, yeah, okay. about, it, it okay. cuts the cooking time in half almost, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then again, it depends. Um, kidney beans vary from one country to the next. Mm -hmm. some, some varieties cook quicker than mm -hmm. others, depending on where you are. Right. So, yeah. Right. That, uh, yeah, that's true. It depends. That's really good. This whole thing is mine, and maybe that too. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay.